Welcome back. It's actually storming pretty bad. But there was a hurricane over the Atlantic and the storm is like over, but we're just getting the end of it. So it's supposed to be pretty bad today and tomorrow. Are you a little afraid of the storm? He might be just a little concerned about what's going on outside. Bentley also doesn't like to get wet. It's because you're a fire sign. So it is currently Tuesday. I don't know if I've told you guys that yet. Uh, it's Tuesday, September, I believe the 22nd. And I've been watching Halloween Wars for the last two hours while I've been editing. I don't know what it is. It's just so comforting. My sister reminded me that it was on and I was afraid that I missed a bunch of the episodes, but they're actually on YouTube, bless. After I finish yoga, I'll probably put it back on while I make dinner. You know, this year has been all about like breaking that whole productivity loop. Like it's okay to chill out and watch TV. All of the movies and all of the shows and all of the just awesome goodness that you can watch from the comfort of your couch on TV. I've been watching, I want to say Ratchet and Halloween Wars are probably going to be my two go-tos for a little while. Ratchet is a new show on Netflix that has the best aesthetics and kind of like a creepy vibe to it. I'm really enjoying it. It's very similar to like, I get similar vibes to American Horror Story, just less scary and more vintage California. But I will share with you guys a bunch more. I also shared some to my Instagram, which I'll pop on the screen if you guys want to check it out. I watched the old 1960s Adams Family the other day and it was such a vibe. Get going on your good old classics, your non-classics, your Gilmore Girls. You have a problem. Yes, I do. Your Charlie Brown Peanuts Halloween episodes, E.T., Halloween Town, Hocus Pocus, The Nightmare Before Christmas, Beetlejuice, all of the good ones. All of the good ones. It's showtime. I even feel like things like Harry Potter and Stranger Things just feel right, feel more right during the fall time. So there's just like no shortage of things you could watch. So that's gonna be the vibe tonight. I'm gonna start my yoga, I'll do my stormy yoga, but yesterday I actually did some golden hour yoga and I'll probably slice that be roll in because you know, I already have it.
so it's been a minute since I've last updated you guys. I'm actually about to check out of this Airbnb. I've taken like one last like pan of this window. I've taken down all my stuff, which was a hot mess. And that's it. Officially leaving our mini home for September. So I actually have one night left in New Brunswick. I'm going to spend the night at Larissa's with Bentley. We're about to head there right now and pick up gas, but I don't know where this month went. I feel like I literally blinked. September is now over. October starts literally tomorrow, which is crazy to me. I feel like August, September, I feel like honestly March until now has literally just gone. Part of me feels really ready and very excited for October. And part of me is also you know, aware of the fact that the busiest time of year for me. So to be taking a road trip back to Ontario in the middle of all of that is gonna be mighty interesting. But I'm excited to spend one more night with Larissa before heading back. And then I've got Utober and then after that, I'm gonna be an aunt, which is just, I mean, the rest of this year is lining up to be mighty, just mighty. I think I'm gonna leave you guys here because I'm gonna start the next vlog of making the journey back to Ontario. I honestly didn't wanna leave. I was gonna try and stay longer, but a part of me is a little excited to throw on some fall tunes and drive back to Ontario because the trees are like peak change right now. Aside from that, I'm gonna pull up here and get some gas, head to Larissa's for the night, and I will talk to all of you guys in tomorrow's October. Bye guys. I shone bright and my journey was over What I sought when I ran Was back where I began